hello guys welcome back to my channel love charms world it's been a while since i've posted and i understand <clears throat> i've just been taking time and taking it in with my daughter um so uh i decided today i was gonna do a little vlog and um just talk a little bit about motherhood in the past I attempted to do a day in my life, but a lot was going on and I was super tired and, and I started a video I didn't even, um, I obviously I didn't get to finish because I didn't post it anything. So I'm going to try and attempt today to do a little vlog <coughs> and um, yeah, let's get right into the video. Oh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, tell a friend to tell a friend, and coming back, let's get right into the video. So, today, look at my looty board. Okay, so today, um, I want to do some laundry for my daughter. She turned seven months today, guys. Um, today is also my brother's birthday. Two of my brother's birthday and my cousin's birthday. So I just want to say happy birthday again to them. Shout out to them. Whoop -de -whoop. And yeah. Um, so back to what I was saying. So I want to do... I'm going to bathe my daughter. Her name is Autumn. I'm going to bathe Autumn. And then you can hear her in the background. <clears throat> and then um you see her little onesie my little pie so I'm gonna bathe her and then try to put her down for her nap I want her to get a little bit more tired um she usually I usually bathe her around 10 is her first bath 10 something and then um uh, she goes to sleep like 11 something or right after I Yeah, 10 something 11 something she goes to sleep and Sometimes sometimes she go she wakes up back at like two or One but from the I don't know her sleep schedule is all over the place for the past um, Two days two three days. She's been her sleep pattern has been off and I guess um, that comes with her turning seven months because they're getting older and, you know, they feel like they're missing out on things. So anyways, <clears throat> as I was saying, excuse me, I'm going to do bathe her, do her laundry, and then, um, I'm going to chit chat with you guys about how is it so far with me being a mom, you know? What is that? Oh, me being a mom. So, yeah, so... Let's get right into it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. Yeah. I just want to um, slowly come back into vlogging. But <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure how this content will go because, you know, a lot of people um, know me um, being a flight attendant and traveling. <laughs> But as you know, I'm on maternity leave, so I took a year and I may extend it because you could extend it up to two years. So I may extend it because I just want to be there for my baby. Um, and a lot more in store, but um, I will get more into details when everything is finalized and, you know, I'm more comfortable talking about it. But um, I'm trying to see where to go to next, basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyways, let me go clean up this living space and, uh, get this day started. Okay, so I just finished bathing my little baby. I'm gonna get her dressed and get some pictures of her. Um, nothing to, you know, up there is just her seven months picture and... I'm going to put some on the screen if I do take them. And, of course, I'm not showing my baby's face. So, yeah. 
Anyways, let me skedaddle because got to get her dressed, get you to take your nap, and then mommy has to do your laundry, okay? Okay, baby? All right, guys. Guys, you see how dark it is? It's about to rain, so it's like very dark. So my daughter is asleep now. And I'm gonna go do her laundry. I'm gonna show you what I use. It's very dark, let me turn the lights on. Love when it rains when I'm home. Love it. Ta da! <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna do her laundry and let me show you what I use. So, this is what I use. This, um, I bought it off Amazon. Oh, this is her stroller. Don't mind the balloons. I hang her stuff on this that I bought off Amazon. Ooh, it's gonna rain. Okay, I'm worried. I know. Oh, and today, autumn starts. You know autumn slash fall <laughs> that's why i named my daughter autumn because autumn is my favorite season of the year it's not too cold it's not too hot it's perfect you have your little sweater you know your hot chocolate or if you drink coffee your coffee it's like a cozy it's giving like cozy in love it's just like a warm it just gives like a warmness and I just love it. It's my favorite season. Um, granted, I don't like when it's extra cold and I don't like when it's extra hot. Yeah, but favorite season. Anyways, as I said, going to wash my baby's clothes. How it looks. And this is where you wash and then this side you spin dry it. It gets really, really dry. It comes with a hose to fill the water up. However, I don't, I don't use the hose to fill the water up because um, it takes long. So I just have some bottles. <laughs> Very, yeah, I know. And I just fill it up. Get the job done quicker. And it started to rain. See guys, I put her down just now, put the clothes in the lawn in the machine. It's 11.56 and she's back up already. Like, um, from Sunday, her sleeping pattern changed like a lot. And yeah, it's been rough, but we'll get through it. But I just wanted to say that being a first time mom, um, if you guys watched my previous video, I will link them up below, up ahead. Um, watch my previous videos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's rewind. Obviously, during my pregnancy, I was, I was extremely sick, right? I've spoke about this. I was extremely sick. I was in and out of the hospital, like, seven, eight times I went to the hospital. The longest I spent was a month in the hospital. So during that time, I didn't feel that feeling that most mom felt like, oh my God, I'm in love with my baby. Like, yes, I love my, I love my baby, but I'm just like, I didn't feel the connection what most mom felt. And I was talking to my cousin about it and she said, when you have your daughter, you're going to feel, you're going to have that feeling that we felt. And I don't know, I just didn't feel confident I was feeling a little sad that I didn't have that connection with my baby um, during pregnancy um, but after I had my baby and each month as the month goes on I fell more and more and more and more and more and more in love with my baby I love my little girl and I will do anything to protect my baby and I will yeah I will go above and beyond for my child, okay? Above and beyond. Um, so right now, I'm looking into uh, daycares, and I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing the word right, because sometimes, sometimes our pronunciation in Jamaica is completely different from how you guys pronounce it over here. Like, when I say com comfortable, you're like, what? It's comfortable. 
and it's just like that's not how like we legit pronounce each letter each word in each word so it's just like it's called i think montessori i don't know school but that's what i'm looking into sending my baby like i want her to learn like i read to her um almost every night i read to her and or if i don't read to her in the night i try to read to her in the day because sometimes after bath time and um i've been here twice a day by the way so that she could know her routine since she came home i used to give her a sponge bath in the morning a sponge bath in the evening so in the morning she would know okay after this is my nap and then in the morning so on and so forth so as she when she her got older and i could she could shout she could bathe I bathe her twice a day so she knows her schedule like okay this is time to eat this is time to sleep whatever so I try to break her into a schedule how the hell did I get from anyways I'm like mom brain so like it's like kind of all over the place that's the next thing mom brain I be forgetting the simplest of things okay <laughs> like I just be Anyway, so I'm looking into daycare. I need somewhere that teaches. Um, I was telling my um, my family that I really wish I could um, send my daughter to school in Jamaica because the education system is a little better. I'm sorry, it's a little better um, than the U.S. To me, that's me. Okay, of course there's good school out there, but it's like um, it's very expensive. Not that it's not expensive in Jamaica as well, but you know we get it. And I really wish that I could send my daughter to my old prep school in Jamaica. That's called Stella Morris Preparatory School. I wish I could send her there because um, they really know how to teach. And the teachers there, they taught me how to read and all of that. Like, hats off to them. But as I said, I read to her every night. And I try to do little stuff so that she could start learning. The more she's maneuvering around, um, the more I will find um, stuff for her to... Uh, to learn like I'm I'm really big on letting my child learn stuff you know what I mean so I'm really big on that really big I want her to be educated okay An educated black queen um, but being a first-time mom it's been really interesting I really love the experience so far um, of course there's some it's not all peaches and cream it's not all it's not all good all the time because sometimes you do feel a little just a little depressed you know because um she doesn't really cry cry a lot just now she turned seven months today and i was just reading there's this thing that they sent to my email each month like telling you like the steps in which your baby's gonna take and i read that um now you're gonna notice that your child is gonna have like and um, what is it called what is it called like attachment um what is it called what I remember I'll type it down below but ba and okay when I remember I'll type it down below but basically whenever I leave her she starts crying and being that she's home with me a lot with me during the day and she's mostly with me um, when I she's around people and you know my, my friends because I don't just hold and let her any anyone hold my child when I'm around good people and they're holding her she starts to crying so separation anxiety yeah so uh, she starts to cry and I kind of want her to break out of that phase but I'm not really I don't go out a lot anymore and that's another thing uh, when you're a mom when you're when you become a mom it's like you want to protect your child and you want to protect your energy your mental health and everything so it's you're more aware of certain things and you more you set more boundaries and to me and certain bs i'm not with it anymore um if you're not how can i put this if you're not giving the same energy that I'm I'm giving you I'm I just don't want to be I don't want to be um, around you period because I feel like I'm at the point of my life 
and I'm now, you know, a grown, grown woman. So I'm at the point in my life where certain day if I just don't want to entertain. And if I'm giving up, give good energy. And if I'm going out of my way and doing things and you're not doing that in return, then I just don't, you know, I don't feel like being around you. And that's just where I am as a new mom. Like, I want to protect myself, protect my energy, protect my baby and everything. Yeah. So back to her separation anxiety. She will stay with her dad, but she's more attached to me. But she will stay with him. But after a while, she's going to be like, all right, where's my mom? You know? And I want to kind of change that. So I'm going to try and see. Thankfully, some of my friends have babies. So I'm going to try and see if I could go around them more so that she could, you know, or go around my family more so that she could break that because... I don't want to leave her at daycare and she's crying all day. That would really break my heart. So, yeah. But I am looking, if you guys know any great school that teaches in Jamaica, I, I, <laughs> in New York, just let me know. Um, because I really want to send her to a great school. And I know in Jamaica, some schools in Jamaica, they start taking kids at one and they started teaching them. So I would love for her to have that hair as well. My friend that lives in a different borough, she ha they have some good school over there, but that's entirely too far. So I'm just looking for some that's in Queens, like Queens, New York, you know. But yeah, like being a first time mom, I love it, guys. Um, yeah, I love my baby girl. And I'm trying to be the best parent as I can be. <laughs> Um, and another thing that I want to talk about, I really wish that in the U.S. that um, you, w they would have given um, moms like a year off like in Europe and in Canada. Like in Europe and Canada, they get a year off with pay, with their pay to stay home with their kids. Like over here, they give you three months. Some, some company gives you four months. But it's just like, you can take a year in the U.S. You can. Um, some company does allow it, but after three months, you don't get paid anymore. But you can take a year. But I wish we got a year with pay, because it would help a lot of mom out, trust me. But with my company, you could take up to 24 months off um, maternity leave. You could take 24 months off. That's what I know, which is good. Um, that's what I'm looking to take. And during that time, I need, during this time, I'm trying to figure out um, what is my next step. Um, and I will take you guys along in that journey to let you guys know what will be my next step. Um, because I really want to be there for my baby. I don't want to miss anything. Um, I'm, I'm protective of her and I just want to be there for her. I know I can't be there for her for every little thing. But if I could be there for every little thing, I'm going to be there. Because, um, not to get too personal, but my upbringing, um, it was rough. And I would never, ever want um, my baby to go through that. So, I just want to be there. Oh, let me go look in these clothes. Guys, well, I'm almost done. Laundry. I'm just going to close out the vlog so now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was a little, you know, nice video for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we'll end. come back to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully, I could get to post again sometime soon. Say bye. Bye.